Welcome to part 11 of Resident Evil Zero here at Plan Around. At least I think it's part 11. I'm not sure. One of the parts. We got spiders! And we left Billy behind. Because I didn't want Billy getting caught up trying to shoot spiders. Maybe a lot of that. But now we're. Police Officer Rebecca Chambers. Exploring this creepy mansion by Lonesome. And it should be fine. But yeah, just down here. Um, blue herb, so. I think they're for the spiders, but. If you just run by them, then. You know. I kind of think the spiders are the most ineffective creatures of all Resident Evil lore. I mean, seriously, you could just, like, run around them. It's... They're not even, like, pertinent to killing. They're not even in your way, necessarily. They're just usually on the wall. And... Hitting in here was this creepy sex dungeon. At least I think it is. Well, I could just be taking that. But I left Billy down, and then we actually need Billy. Left him back at the... It's not too far of a walk, so why not? Again, it's that fourth wall thing, you know? It's not like, how would Billy know to, to, to go down there? Maybe kind of reality. But if you just run around them, spiders are ineffective. There's more far worse things than spiders. And I know this is like a very old house, but like who has the dungeon? Like wouldn't they like refurbish it or something? I don't know. It is a very elaborate plan to keep it hidden, so I guess. But yeah, we need Billy to give uh, Rebecca boost. I'm almost there. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. Take that Time how you may. <laughs> oh my god, S and M things. I'm I'm to be honest, I'm surprised. It's a dungeon. What'd you think it was going to be in there? Rebecca, the heart of gold. Hmm. Pretty much. It's pretty much the power for. Honestly, I don't know where. I think it's down here. It's kind of awkward. They would have the power supply in. In this particular room, I would think it would be like in the previous room to the dungeon. I, have, I don't know. I'm not an architect. But essentially, yeah, just two up, one down, and then the uh, last two, you could go up. Uh, I think in any of that order, it, you, just, you can play around with it. There's nothing pertinent to it. And doing that unlocks the door here. And unlocks that door that we couldn't get into that we passed. And somehow takes the steam off of that, but it's a puzzle. Or so called puzzle, anyway. You are wasting already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing, and I am their territory. <laughs> okay, you can, you can have this place. It 
just doesn't make sense. Do you honestly believe this to be the real identity of that crazy young man? Impossible. But if somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh. Well, you better, because Billy has to make his way down there now. And given by the music and the map, we need to help save Rebecca. Again. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Billy, yeah, we got to make our way down. Um, I'll just show you guys how we make our way down. Just going back real quick. Again, every, you know, we're, I'm doing, playing this game, and it's... I would say story chronological order. I think, you know, I'm doing all these Resident Evils now in the chronological order. Yeah, wow. The one time I get hit by a spider. But, uh, if you haven't already, I have the PlayStation, the PlayStation Resident Evil up. And that will be your scenario. And then, um, obviously the very next Resident Evil game that I'll be doing will be Resident Evil, the remake for the GameCube. But we'll be doing Chris's scenario because... That one is a lot more serious than, and also too, it ties into Rebecca also, so we'll do that. But if you just think about it chronologically, again, it's just all coincidence. The first team of STARS members, they weren't originally there to, for combat data. They were there to investigate murders that have been happening around the city. But they didn't get lured to the mansion because their helicopter fell and they happened to come across a train ugh coinky dink but yeah don't bother trying to shoot any of these zombies or spiders even though I got hit by one don't try it is timed um, I'm not sure how much time to give you they give you <laughs> and I know they, they give you enough time Rebecca was complaining that she couldn't hold on, but it's been it's, it's been a good two minutes. Ah, come on, these freaking monkeys! But Billy can take a hit, so I'm not. It's not really a big deal. I know. Jeez. Oh crap! Wrong room. And also, too, um, I forgot to introduce a uh, new monkey enemy, which were also in, miss me, also in the, um, the 64 version. They're, I think they were also supposed to be a prototype for the first game, but they never really made it in. Substitute them for the hunters. But let's go help Rebecca. In the nick of time. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember?
This is Rebecca, over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it now. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. It was around this time last year. Really? Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. There was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Did you execute those innocent people? Forget about it. Doesn't matter anymore. That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. Isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. <laughs> 